Welcome people in this video, we will look at this case study, a 45 year old male presented with fever, acute onset, suddenly he got some fever, he has fatigue, bone pain and gum bleeding, bone pain, gum bleeding, on, exter on examination sternal tenderness was present, means what, well, let us look at the laboratory findings, probably it can give us some clue, hemoglobin, so less, so definitely it is some anemic picture, WC, WPC count is more, right, so looks like some infection infection platelet count is uh, 40000 very less very less very less so what is your diagnosis guys there is some peripheral blood smear given here in peripheral blood smear what you can see so remember this is blood picture in blood picture they are showing some body in the cytoplasm the nucleus what exactly are these? There's some rods here. Our rods. These are our rods. Okay, let's see. So here the diagnosis, when you see our rods and they're giving you such a clear picture, right? So definitely it will be AML. That is acute myeloid leukemia. You know in chronic myeloid leukemia, there will be no our rods, remember. So this is acute myeloid leukemia. And you can see that in the bone marrow, sorry, in the blood picture, there are some uh, cells like this, right? These are not supposed to be here, first of all, in the blood. So, in blood picture, you are seeing some myeloblasts with ore rods. So, in CML, remember, there will be no ore rods in myeloblasts. But here, you are seeing ore rods, right? So, definitely AML, you can say. There is an anemic blood picture. The WBCs are very high. Platelets are less. And fever is, okay, just a clue here fever is acute onset i am not sure so what is the diagnosis acute myeloid leukemia write two points in favor you have written that how do you classify this condition oh my god this is a huge thing we will explain that wait guys how to classify basically there are two classifications okay who classification and fab classification okay before going to classification look at this the fever is acute in onset we told you here gum hypertrophy is there that's why gum bleeding is there and sternal tenderness. This is like a, the biggest clue you can get for this. Okay. Now, um, coming to the classification, right? Let's make a new slide for this because it's already full. AML. There is WHO classification and FAB classification. Two types of classifications are there. <coughs> Now, WHO means, you know, the World Health Organization classification. And what is this uh, FAB? French, American, British, right? Now, according to WHO classification, you have so many acute myeloid leukemias, okay? With genetic abnormality, you have. With genetic abnormality. Let's just pay attention here. There can be many types of genetic abnormality, okay? Like translocation 821, inverted 16, translocated 15, 17, so many are there in the textbook. Just look at them, okay? We are not going into the details. So many types of classification are there. Then you have acute myeloid leukemia with myelodysplasia related changes. Then you have therapy related uh, AML. So I think they gave some therapy and they got acute myeloid leukemia, is it? God knows. Then you have not otherwise classified. This is actually nothing but FAB classification, guys. This is nothing but FAB classification. So, we'll conveniently put it here. We'll conveniently put it here. Okay. Nothing but FAB classification. That is M0, M1, M2, M4, M5, M5, M5A, M5B. There is no 3 here, remember. But in 5, there are 2, then 6 and 7. Okay. Then in that only, you have acute basophilic leukemia, myeloid sarcoma, myeloid proliferations due to Down syndrome. Okay, uh, so much of classification is there. At least FAB classification you try to remember now. This uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. These are myeloperoxidase positive. Okay, 1, 2, 4 and 6 are myeloperoxidase positive. What are they? First of all, that we should tell now. M0 is minimally differentiated. This is without maturation. M1 is without maturation. AML with maturation is M2. M4 is myelomonocytic leukemia. Then 5 and, uh, 5A and 5B are monoblastic monocytic leukemia. M6 is erythroid leukemia. M7 is megakaryoblastic leukemia. See, basically, one thing you should understand here, what exactly is happening here, 
the myeloid uh, leukemia acute myeloid leukemia means something to do with the myeloid progenitor correct now myeloid progenitor what and all it will give it will give rbc it will give wbc's except lymphocytes and then it will give platelets correct so other than lymphocytes everything you should have here correct so now see this m6 is what erythroid then you, what you have baso a uh, mega carrier this is mega carrier mega carioblastic then what in all you have <clears throat> monoblastic monocytic that is this one monoblastic monocytic this one m5 m m5a 5b that is acute monoblastic and monocytic leukemia first and all what and all this is called aml minimally differentiated aml minimally differentiated aml without maturation aml with maturation is m2 m4 is what acute myelo monocytic leukemia what the hell acute myelo mono cytic leukemia this is really hard na to understand so many complicated terms okay guys to whatever extent possible we have explained hopefully you have understood the classification of uh, this see basically here what you are seeing you are seeing uh, myeloid progeny myeloid series cells you are not seeing any lymphocytes that's what you have to pay attention to that's all otherwise it's easy so you can see so many basophils uh, when you see so many basophils it look acute basophilic leukemia then uh, what you can have acute uh, erythroid leukemia then acute mega carioblastic leukemia is possible so many things are possible okay now classification over then what are the specific cytochemical stains this is also important so the specific cytochemical stains are shall we write them here only is it that okay for you specific cytochemical stains wait specific cytochemical stains that is cyto chemistry that you will use for detecting aml what in all you will use you will use milo per oxidase we already told you what in all are positive right go here and check again 1 2 4 and 6 are positive m2 4 and 6 m 1 2 4 1 2 4 4 4 and 6 are positive correct 1 2 4 4 and 6 are positive now myeloperoxidase uh, it is positive in immature myeloid cells containing granules and or rods they are negative in the m0 myeloblast okay so what and all will be there they are myeloid will be positive in they are this myelo myelo peroxidase stain if you use it is positive in myeloid cells which contain granules and or rods obviously or rods is absent in cml obviously myelo peroxidase also will be negative in that in this case you can see that because of granules and or rods this is showing positive myelo peroxidase okay then sudan black the next stain that we have to talk about is sudan black sudan black is the next let's take this up also in the new slide because now myelo peroxidase you saw now we'll see sudan black sudan black is positive in immature cells in aml so it is positive in immature cells in aml don't sleep don't sleep wake up if you are sleeping we are looking at what the stains cytochemistry for aml sudan black then periodic shift acid shift pass pass is periodic acid SCHIF shift this is also positive in immature lymphoid cells and erythro leukemia but here immature lymphoid cells will not be there in blood picture right or it will be a very minor amount then non specific esterase non specific esterase 
positive and monocytic series. So in M4 and M5, that is in monocytic series, it will be there. Positive in monocytic series. Have you seen the monocytic series, guys? Which are the monocytic series? M4 is monocytic, myelomonocytic, and M5 also is monocytic. So in this M4 and M5, what will be positive? That um, non-specific S trace will be positive. Did you understand any word? You've already seen the classification, so this should be easy to see. Then last one you have acid phosphatase. Acid phosphatase is going to be focal positivity in leukemic blast in AL, ALL and diffuse reaction in monocytic cells. So there will be some uh, positivity in M4 and M5 again. And in ALL, that is acute lymphoid leukemia, it will be there positive. Okay. So in ALL and in M4 and M5. See here, don't write ALL, don't get confused. M4 also seen in ALL. Okay. So this periodic shift, acid shift is uh, positive in immature lymphoid cells and erythroleukemia. That is in M6. In M6, it is positive. Positive in M6 and M6 is what? Erythroid, yes, that's why. It is positive in lymphoid and erythroleukemia. So in M6, okay. And even in lymphoid, immature lymphoid also. Okay, this is erythroid, erythroleukemia. Okay. Did you understand this much, guys? So, basically what you should understand here, <clears throat> AML is a condition where the myeloid series cells will be more. So, whatever staining you are doing again is reflecting the myeloid series cells only. Like acid phosphatase and uh, this non-specific X-rays, they seem to like these monocytes. Okay. Lymphoid progenitor also acid phosphatase can stain and here immature lymphoid even pass. Sudan black, all immature cells in AML. Positive in immature cells in AML. Myeloperoxidase is very important. 1, 2, 4 and 6. 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 6. 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 6. Okay, some song is there. Then that's all over. So we are done with this case study, guys. Uh, this was a case study on uh, acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, that's all for now. Do you know what these cells are, by the way? These are myeloblasts. Myeloblasts. These are precursors of neutrophil uh, forming. Uh, right? Myeloblast means what? Neutrophils only, they'll become, right? Later. Actually, they can become neutrophil, esnophil, basophil and monocyte. All these four, they can become myeloblast means. That's all, guys. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye.